Good morning, viewers, and welcome to this week's presentation of our legal series on the Lawyers Alert platform. Sincere apologies for starting a little bit behind schedule. It was due to technical difficulties. My name is Victor Abel Esquire. Tuesday, the 29th day of December 2020, turned out to be a red letter day for the residents of Castina Alla, Ukum, and Senkera Axis of Mimi State. On this day, the State Security Council rose from a meeting where a directive was passed where a ban was placed on the use of motorcycles in those areas. Now, to ensure compliance with the directive, security agencies, including the Nigerian army, were deployed to arrest and confiscate the motorcycles of the falters. Now, the Nigerian army, in their exuberance, did not only arrest, confiscate, but went further to burn and destroy these motorcycles. That in quick succession, over 50 motorcycles of the residents of these areas were destroyed. This raises the cause for concern and raises a constitutional question. The question is, assuming without conceding on the property of the directive of the State Security Council, is the action of the army justifiable in arresting confiscating and destroying the properties of the residents without giving them right to fair hearing or following due process? Are the residents of Kastinala, Sankara, and Ukun, do they have the right to the acquisition, ownership, use, and enjoyment of property as citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? These are constitutional questions that require constitutional answers. And where else can we get answers to quest constitutional questions if not the ground norm of the land, the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999? Now, because of time constraints, we're going to make reference to just two provisions of the Constitution as regards the rights of the citizens with reference to the incident in Castinala, Okun, and Sankara areas of Benin State. Our first point of call is section 36 of the Constitution. This section, this provision of the law, is to the effect that every citizen shall have a right to fair hearing. Which brings back the question. By the actions of the army in arresting, confiscating, and destroying the motorcycle of the defaulters, of the alleged defaulters, without granting them the right to fair hearing, without bringing them before the court of competent jurisdiction, is that action justifiable? Now, the second constitutional question is whether the citizens have a right to the ownership, acquisition, use, and enjoyment of property. The Constitution is very clear and precise as regards that. By the provisions of Section 44 of the Constitution, it provides that every citizen shall have a right to own movable and immovable property in any part of the country, and nobody shall have the right to remove such property except by the provision of the law. Now, with these constitutional issues being raised and the premises established, how does Lawyers Alert come in? Lawyers Alert is a human rights organization that speaks out boldly for the vulnerable. We give voice to the voiceless and defend the defenseless. Lawyers Alert condemns in the strongest terms 
the actions of the Nigerian army in arresting, confiscating, and burning of the motorcycles of the residents of Okun, Castinala, and Senkera Axis of Benue State without reference to the principles of natural justice, without following the due process of the law, assuming and not conceding that there were actually defaulters. Were these people brought before a court of competent jurisdiction? Were they made to stand trial? Were they sentenced accordingly, according to the provisions of the law? No. This was not done. Rather, the army chose to be the judge, the jury, and the executioner. Such arbitrariness is vague to our laws and should never be encouraged. Secondly, lawyers alert condemns in the strongest terms the failure of the Security Council in providing adequate security for the people. Rather than doing so, a directive was passed subjecting the people to a further second wave of poverty. You took away their motorbikes. Where are the alternatives? Did you deem it fit to provide tricycles as alternative to convey the people from one destination to the other? Did you deem it fit instead of the directive to ban the motorcycles outrightly? Wouldn't it have been a better alternative to place a curfew at ungodly hours such that movement is restricted from those hours to curb the movement of nefarious characters? Couldn't that have been a better alternative? In line with the above, Layers Alert has taken an action. For the sake of simplicity and clarity, I'll be reading out verbatim the action that has been taken by Lawyers Alert. Now, Lawyers Alert has filed an action in the High Court of Benue State against the Governor of Benue State, the Attorney General of Benue State, the, Bur the Bureau, the State Bureau of Internal Affairs and Special Services, and the Government of Benue State as a whole. And in doing so, we are seeking the following relief. A declaration that a virtue of the provision of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the right to fair hearing, and the right to the acquisition and ownership of property, property of every citizen is guaranteed. Two, a declaration that the actions of the Nigerian army in impounding setting ablaze and destruction of over 50 motorcycles belonging to the residents of Castina Allah and the Kun local government areas without trial before a court of competent jurisdiction is a breach and gross violation of their fundamental rights. Three, an order compelling the council to withdraw, stop, and reverse the destruction of import in the destruction, impounding, burning, and setting ablaze motorcycles of alleged offenders. And four, an order mandating the council to replace the over 50 motorcycles of the alleged offenders that have been burned and destroyed by personnel of the Nigerian army by the directive of the State Security Council. We seek justice for the people of Castanala. We seek justice for the people of Okun, 